do um, a stir fry now. This is beef stir fry. So it's a bit different to the chicken stir fry. This is beef stir fry. So I'll wake this up right now and show you how easy it is. It, it, 15 minutes. When's you prepare? Pretty easy. All right. Let's do this. Firstly, you're going to need some oil. All right. Now, my mum's uh, film crew at the moment. All right. So, mum, if the screen goes black, just tap on it. It goes black. Bit of oil in there. And firstly, all right, we've got minced garlic. Okay, you can use natural garlic yourself and mince it yourself, but um, we usually use this. Alright, and then you got to use some ginger. Ginger, guys, ginger is good. Get a good scoop of ginger. You just use a spoon about this size. It's pretty simple. Keep it simple, scoop it. Okay. That over there, that over there, and most importantly, if you don't like chili, you don't have to use chili, but we like chili, okay? A little bit of chili is good. I like chili, okay? Depending on your taste and all the rest of it, but man, I, I like a bit of chili. I like a bit of chili. Get them seeds in there, get them seeds right in there. Make that shit hot. Depending on how hot you want it, okay? Yeah, just mix that around a bit. Come over here, Mum, with the camera. Don't put it too close so I don't get any uh, oil on it. Mix that around a bit. That's it. Now, the next ingredient is the beef. Now, when it comes to beef, guys, all right, you've got to buy like a rump steak and you've got to chop it up yourself. You can't go to the supermarket and buy already diced up meat because usually the diced up meat is usually the shit meat. So you buy a nice big rump steak and chop it up yourself, just like we've done today. That's what we've done. So just do that and you'll be fine. If you go get the diced stuff, it's shit meat, tastes like shit, right? So you've got all that in there. You've got the ginger, you've got the garlic, and the chili. Whack your beef in there. What you do, turn that back on again, get it hot again, you just brown it off. Once you brown it off, you add all the veggies in and all the rest of it. And I love beef. Like I said um, in my previous video, you can use chicken, you can use seafood like prawns, you can use pork. You can use beef. So my favourite is beef. I love beef. Beef man. And remember, you must have a good wok. You're going to do this. A damn good wok. You want this shit sizzling. You want to burn. And the thing is, some, to the people out there that don't like chilli, Man, add a little bit of chili in, just a little bit. It gives it that flavour, gives it that zest. So you need a little bit of chili, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Even if you don't like it, but what you'll find is if you add just a little bit in there, it just gives it that flavour. Now, as you can see, that's all browned off. All right, Mum, focus in there. Okay, let's put a bit round off. Right, so next step, you want to add the snow peas, okay? Add the snow peas. Onion, Mum, pass that over. I love you got Mum as the cameraman, she's doing all right. Onion, okay? And the capskin. Vanessa has some. Yeah, I know, add the capskin. There we go. Alright. I'll mix that around a bit. Alright. 
Also as well, I would not recommend adding any salt to this dish. But what I like to add is a bit of pepper. Just a bit of pepper. Just a little bit of pepper. There you go. Now your, your red caps again is very important. Number one for flavour. And uh, number two for appearance. When you look at a dish, you've got a bit of red in there and all the rest of it. But um, now look at that. So that's going well. I love the dish, man. Alright. Now, take some of the beans out. As you've got here, you've got stir fry mix. Now you can do it yourself. Okay, you can get your cabbage, you can get your carrots, all that stuff and just do it by yourself or you can just add this in. Usually at your supermarkets you get these uh, stir fry mixes, pretty good. Just whack it in. I've already put that in Mum. Vanessa's? Yeah, Vanessa's is after this. You need to take right. onion out for Vanessa. Okay. Let this go for a bit. Now like I said, if you want to buy the fresh veggies yourself, you don't have to get a stir fry mix. You can do it yourself. Get your cabbage, get your carrots and all that and grind it up all yourself and tuck it in. I'm just keeping it simple, stupid. Okay? And most importantly, most importantly, especially if you're male, if you're doing something like this, Number one, you need a beer. You've got to have a fucking beer. You're going to have a drink every now and then. Mm. Here in Australia, we love beer. If you're from another country and uh, you don't like beer, well, I don't know, mix something else up. Whatever sort of drink you like. But, you know, you've got to have a beer when you're doing this sort of stuff. It's only quick. All right, now look at that. Now that's brilliant. Now have a look at that mum, bring the camera in, bring the camera in mum, look at that, beautiful, alright, now the next step is oyster sauce, okay, very important ingredient, I'll get that on, now don't add too much oyster sauce, it makes it salty, now you never add salt to this dish, a bit of pepper is good, but never add salt, okay, so we'll put a little bit of oyster sauce in. And as you can see how much I'm putting in here, it's enough, it's enough for three people, this dish right now. Alright, there we go. As you can see, that's enough oyster sauce for three people. Mix that around. Okay. What's that, Mum? Yeah, that comes last, Mum. There we go. Beautiful, the smells. Oh. Oyster sauce rocks, but you can't put too much oyster sauce in. If you put, put too much oyster sauce in, it just fucks it. It becomes too salty. Alright, take a sip of your beer. Now it's time for soy sauce. I don't know what your whole brick's for, Mum. We don't need that. Soy sauce. Okay. A little bit of soy sauce. All you need. Now once that's all mixed in, you add your noodles.
before we start it, you've got to soak the noodles, they're locker noodles. Alright, you can get these early season mark and all that stuff. You've got to soak them in a bit of hot water, okay? Uh, just to loosen them up a bit. And you get a plate, hold that there, drain the water out. much done so it's got the garlic in there it's got the ginger it's got the chili it's got the oyster sauce the soy sauce all the flavors in there it smells absolutely beautiful like i said beef is my favorite and mate that's done that is done like a dinner and we'll mix that up a bit more Turn it off. Alright mum, have a look. There you go, there it is right there. Aussie stir fry at its best. Got a wok, chuck the lid on it. Uh, serve it up a bit later. You can let it sit there. Make sure you close it so no um, steam's getting out of it and it just sits there and stays nice and warm. You can probably serve it up in about, I don't know, half an hour. 15 minutes, whenever you want to do it, uh, ready to go. I'm out. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>